Well, we are live. You, you missed my yawn. But anyway, or did we get my yawn? Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe, okay. So, we're live at 11.05 on BC. Spirit Cars. Uh, this little live at 1105 is sponsored by spiritcars.com. Don't forget to go there. Uh, you're going to hear a hum in the background today. Ed's in the middle of painting, so we don't want to stop progress. So, uh, he's painting through lunch, I guess. I don't know. But, so you hear the exhaust fan in the background. I have been working pretty diligently on getting this car finished, done, we've got to fire it up, and I'm getting close to firing it up. I've got most of my wires terminated, I've got uh, a few left, not too many. This is a uh, running light wire, we're probably not going to use running lights on this. This car has uh, turn signals in the headlight, it's pretty cool, so they're, they're actually clear looking, but they will flash amber. So we got our headlights on, we got our wires terminated. I got uh, most of my wires coming around. My choke is on. I've not done my spark plug wires to the altar to the distributor yet. I usually go ahead and get everything powered up and uh, instead of turning the motor over with a, with a wrench to get top dead center over on the number one cylinder, we just get the motor powered first and do it with the key, it's easier. And at that point, we'll stab the distributor. Right now, the distributor's not stabbed in there, but you need to get that in, make sure it's not 180 off. Uh, I kind of like to have it so it's, you know, put it in however you want to get it in, but follow the directions. If you don't know how to wire it, I'm not, it won't do me no good to tell you this one, this one, this one, but you can Google and get the firing orders on them all. A lot of the intakes will have a got an old intake that will tell you firing order. So we're, we're getting to the end. I've got the radiator in. I've got most of the motor parts done. I said the other day, don't go ahead of yourself. I put this filter in without putting these clamps on and I still haven't been to the parts store. We usually get boxes of clamps but I happen to be out of this size so I'll make sure I get that. I got this and I got my fuel cell in the back now so I got to get the I put a filter in the back also, so we have a filter in here and a filter in the back. What I'm doing now is we use these flexible hoses, the radiator hoses. They work pretty nice. Can you get in here and see this? I got it onto the radiator. There's a, um, a cover that goes on that. It looks pretty nice. But sometimes you just got to modify. You can cut this to whatever length. It comes a great big long piece and you cut it to the two pieces to fit. It's got covers and clamps. Um, make sure you got good clamps. It's a China brand product. It used to be they used to have very, very poor clamps and we changed clamps out. These have a better clamp now, so um, definitely want a good clamp. You don't want your radiator hose blowing off. Now let me get a, one of these other ones here. The kit comes That's basically a generic kit. I mean, it gives you all the parts for different different ones. So if you got a, a radiator that's one size, and you got a hose that's another size, and you got a water pump that's another size, you've got inserts in it that will uh, pull out. You may or may not need to use the insert. It's got a thicker insert in there also. This is a thicker one that I pulled out of out of these over here. If you're using a aluminum radiator, which is what we have here, this is just a polished aluminum radiator. Um, the flange on this radiator is way too big. It's just way too big. So this will not fit over it very well. You got to grind it off a little bit. I've still got a flange that's actually quite large, and the cover does not fit over it. It just plain doesn't go over it. So you can see what the back of a cover looks like. Well, I do want to use a cover. I don't want to just put that on there and not have a cover. So I've had to take and cut and grind and modify it out. And I can actually push this cover up on there now. It takes a little bit of work, but I'll put the clamp on first. And I'll be able to have the cover on it that way. So just because it doesn't fit on your first attempt, kind of think about it. Give it some little bit of thought. And if you can modify it, just go ahead and modify it. Because a lot of the... A lot of the parts that you're going to have to be using, that is what it's going to require, so 
no sense fretting over it, just get her done. Don't worry if you're like, I was thinking about this this morning, I'm wiring, I'm wiring, it's not my first car that I've wired, it's probably not my tenth car, it's a lot of cars I've wired over the, over the years. You would think I would remember, I mean you've got a starter wire here that's purple, coming around, but you want to break that wire for your neutral safety switch. So instead of coming directly from your fuse block to that wire, you go to your neutral safety switch and then from your neutral safety switch to your starter. Well, of course, I ran it directly to the starter because that's where it goes. Caught my problem, fixed it. Just, even if you've done something a long time, double check yourself. Always try to move forward without backing up to go forward again, but sometimes you just gotta got to fix your problems, fix your, fix your own mistakes, so nobody's perfect, I sure am not, and uh, just sharing a little mistake I made this morning, I caught it before I really got very far, but still, think about those kind of things. Uh, vacuum is, is pretty important, you, you don't want to have vacuum leaks, we're going to have to run vacuum, it's got a vacuum advance on the distributor, uh, we've got vacuum coming from different areas, so... I don't think we're going to go over vacuum today, but I will definitely go over the vacuum on this before we start the motor. I'm really thinking tomorrow is the start the motor day. Should we do that live at 11 o'clock tomorrow? Yes, I'm, I'm saying yes. So Pressure's on. You're going to see me start the motor live at 11 5 This customer is very anxious. We're, uh, we've are we been busy. I mean, Spirit's busy. We thank everybody for their confidence in us to give us give us their work and give us the opportunity to build their dreams. We delivered Randy's car this morning. Um, he was happy, happy camper. So he's going to come back in September, he said, with the car running. So he's, uh, we got this ball or the, uh, what's it called, the bash? No, the craze, the car craze, September car craze in Flippin'. It's September 9th. And we're going to have an open house in Spirit. That would be on Friday. And on Saturday is the uh, car show in Clifton Park. There's no entry fee, but there's no trophies. Lots of door prizes, valve cover racing, uh, some soapbox derby race. Just a great time. So we're going to do that. And uh, uh, like I said, have the open house here on Friday. So Randy said he's going to come back for that with his car. So Randy's car is looking good. We did a YouTube video earlier with him picking it up, and it's, it should be on the Facebook page here. We're going to start this tomorrow. You know what? I have a deal. I just found out this deal. There's now being manufactured. If, if you've got headers that are on a um, tea bucket, I can accept for very, very few occasions and very expensive ones. No matter who they came from, they were made by Patriot. Uh, Patriot makes the headers for that's the ones that does it. Well, there's a new new guy in town, and there's some stainless steel headers. We've got a bunch coming. Um, polished stainless, awesome. I don't have an exact price yet because I know what my shipping going to be here, but they're probably going to be oh maybe in the three hundred and twenty-five to three hundred fifty dollar range. So, <coughs> if you're interested in some stainless headers. Josh may put a post here as soon as we uh, we know what our shipping costs are going to be to get them here. But we have got some coming. There's only, I mean, they'll go fast. It's the first run of these things. But I'm anxious to start using them. Uh, we always use, on these, I'll put a set of uh, headers that we have. It's old mock-up headers, just plain ones. To fire up the motor, we'll do the break-in. because The motor's going to run a little bit hot uh, on the break-in. And then once I do that, I'll take them off and put coated headers on. For the uh, for the customer, when he when the customer gets it, it will be brand new headers, and he's the one that can can chalk them up a little bit. Uh, if you get chrome headers, uh, about the only thing I can guarantee on chrome headers, they will turn blue and they will rust. I mean that is a guarantee on chrome headers. They're great if you're going to do a show car only and never really have it exposed to the weather. I mean they got that real shine. So uh, the coated ones look pretty shiny. Um, ceramic coat, not near as shiny as a chrome, 
but they don't blue and they, they keep that that general color they will chalk just a little bit but I'm anxious to see them stainless headers so they won't be on this car won't be on the next one it's right behind Stephanie there but they will probably be on the, the next turnkey after that one so for today I think did I cover very much did I give any information did you learn anything Stephanie um, I learned that you can uh, modify the covers. Great tool. <laughs> Great tool, little dot grinder. <laughs> Great tool. So you get a, get a few tools like this, and I, I got a sawzall too, a little mini sawzall. With some of these, well, you can create a lot of stuff. It's not exactly machine work, but it works for the body man kind of guy. So here we are, we better get this book out, and I better get back to wiring because I want to finish this guy up. I want to be driving this thing this weekend, at least put a few miles on it. Uh, we just got Coffee Break Contemplations. Buddy of mine, Ernie, the Hot Rod Man, I wrote these couple books, available on Amazon, and we actually checked it out. They are available there. The pen is mightier than the sword, but if a bad man is in your house swinging a sword, it, take, <laughs> it takes too much time to write a letter to the police. Okay, well, in Arkansas here, yeah, you probably don't want to come swinging a sword in my house, because probably members of the NRA around here, a lot of them. So, okay, there's my political statement for today. And uh, tomorrow, today's Thursday, right? Tomorrow's Friday. Y'all hold me to it. We want to see this fire up tomorrow. All right. Thanks for being with us.